folks. So here's my CVA 6805. Same principle would apply to the CVA 6800 um, coffee system. So this is our main menu right now. And what I'm going to do is to try to um, set up our drink. So um, main menu, you go to drink and here we can edit so you can adjust your coffee amount and also adjust your coffee strength so here we have espresso coffee lungo cappuccino well obviously for cappuccino and other stuff we would need to have milk so i'm not going to do that right now we're going to adjust for milk froth and hot milk as well and cafe latte all will require milk so for now we'll go ahead and let's say we'll do coffee so hit edit right here then you can either reset your drink or change it let's go to change and then here we'll go to coffee and now so here we'll do the parameters it's um we will set the coffee let's see so now here we can adjust our strength of coffee so hit that and you can go as strong you want or as weak you want so let's go here okay, okay. if you like it very high or hot that's to the maximum temperature and then this is pre-brew you have a long and a short i usually leave it as a short this gives you a little bit more of a flavor so hit okay now our portion size of where you're going to set up the quantity of water dispensing to your likeness. So hit that. And now it will start to dispense. And as you start dispensing, you'll see this bar right here with a little. Uh, kind of a check mark on it that moves across so whenever you're happy there it is so right now it's just set to half so if you leave it it will go all the way to the end and save it as a default and that will give you your settings but see now the save button pop up so if you're happy with that amount right there you just hit save and you're good but for right now I'm gonna leave it to go to the end because I like a lot of coffee So that's what we were getting before, right there. So you see, you leave it to go to the end. And it will save automatically. You'll see that little gauge jump all the way over and that will be saved as default. There you go. So now, whenever we try to make a cup, see right there, portion size saved. So, here you go. A lot more than what we had before. And again, our crema is perfect. Yep, that's one perfect cup of coffee. So now, you repeat the same process for all the other ones that you want to set up. So let's say, for example, you want an espresso. You'll go here. And same thing, uh, change drink, hit espresso, drink parameters, and espresso is, depends on the user of how much strength you want. Okay, that's a pretty strong shot of coffee. So let's do that. You can also adjust your temperature and also adjust your pre brewing. I hit OK. I'm not gonna set the portion size right now because I hit that, it's gonna start brewing. I don't really have an espresso cup at this point but that's you follow that same procedure and that's how you set it up now if you want to do cappuccino or latte then you go ahead you will need to have your milk container filled with milk um, whole milk 1% 2% that's the only milk required do not use any oat milk oat milk or any other stuff it's not gonna work and it'll destroy your machine so let's say for example now we want to do a actually let's get out of here start off fresh 
Now let's say you want to do um, change string. Let's do a latte. Now here for parameters, same thing with the coffee. You can go as strong as you want. The temperature and pre-brew hit OK. And if you were to do this right now, it's gonna ask me for milk. Let's see right here, milk container is empty because there is no milk container. So as soon as we can get my container to put in there, we'll go ahead and continue this to make, uh, set up our milk settings and all that good stuff. But as of right now, that's how you would do it to set up your portion size for your coffee and the strength of your coffee. So there you go guys. Thank you for checking it out. Hope this video will help. And just give us a thumbs up subscribe and like thank you